Hey everybody, welcome back to Bruce's Bees. Backed off on the videos a little bit. It just got to be too much. I kind of took a little break and I don't know if I'll do them as often as I did before, but I'll still post uh, when I see something or that you, I think you might be interested in. We're down here in Slocum today. Gonna go through these hives right here, down here on these pallets. Our fall flow has been going fairly strong. I think it's getting close to wrapping up uh, now. I'm gonna get the Apivar strips out of this, the hives and just see kind of how they're doing. I haven't been in them in several weeks, so I'm kind of curious to see what's going on. Look at the hive entrance. All these hives have bees going in and out of them. Some of them are looking really strong. And some of them are fairly new hives, the nukes I put in, uh, that may not have had a chance to get super strong yet, but they're definitely busy. They're doing something out here. See what these October bees look like. Lots of activity, lots of bees in and out. It's got a deep and three mediums on it. And I uh, haven't been in them for a long time, so I really don't know what to expect, but I'm expecting good things here. I'm curious to see how the fall flow has been since I haven't been in them since the fall flow started, really. Yeah. This hive has a tendency to be a little feisty, so I may have to put on some gloves and a jacket, though I'd rather not. It's pretty hot out here. Goodness, they got that thing glued down. Wow. Lots of propolis. We got a few beetles, but not bad. Beetles were just awful this year. We'll probably just get rid of this tile here. They really built in a lot of propolis. They glued everything together. There are a few beetles hiding here. Kind of got the tiles propolized, and so the beetles aren't getting stuck in them like they should. But I think we're hopefully through the worst of the beetle season. Putting a little nectar in. I might consolidate these top two boxes if there's not much in here. Yeah. There's some honey in the middle, but not much going on out here at the outside. We got a little honey here. Fall honey, I'm gonna taste a little bit of it, see what I think. This is not my favorite. Some people love that stuff, but I just don't care that much for it. That's why I let the bees keep it. Golly, these bees are good at propolizing stuff down. A fair amount of honey here in the middle. So I think I'm just going to combine the top box with it, and they don't need that much space through winter, I don't believe. This hive has been so strong this year, I just wanted to make sure they had plenty of space during all the flows. So they Hopefully avoid them swarming. I, I mean, I guess it's possible they swarm this year, but it's been a very healthy and strong hive this year. One of my, probably one of my stronger hives, the strongest hive out here probably. Of course, I did split a lot of these hives this year out here in Slocum. We're getting a little agitated, but so far I've been lucky. I went and got my Guardian bee jacket on. You can see it. Really been impressed with those products this year. I got two jackets, one pullover and one standard uh, Guardian bee jacket earlier this year. And really, my I like to pull up a lot over a lot, but it, I washed last time and I goofed up. I the uh, veil got cut. And we're washing it, so now I'm going to go back to the standard one. They seem to be real good quality. I like them.
true to form, this hive has gotten a little bit feisty. So I just decided to go ahead and put the gloves on. Having to really crank these hives up to get the boxes off because uh, those towels I put in for beetles, they got them all purpleized. So if you try to use that method, you might want to replace the towels or take them out a little bit more often. Yeah, I think I'll let these towels in too long because they're just nothing but propolis now. This hive just tends to get mean. I don't know. In the spring, I'll probably break it down and make some splits out of it. But we want to let them get through this winter good and strong. So here's the happy bar strip. The mites. I should have brought my mite checking kit, but I didn't. Both of those things work really well. Man, these bees are a little fired up right now. And the bees. Lots of bees. Oh. I would just leave this alone, but I need to get the apple bar strips out really, so I'm not doing that bottom box. While we're down there, we'll see if we got any brood. And I think there's probably some in this second box, too. Man, they are really feisty. As you can see, now we're in the bottom box. Look at all the bees. This really super strong hive right now. I think I've managed this hive pretty well this year. Um, we only got one box of honey off of it. But next year, if we leave them be, I think they're going to be good and strong. Lots of pollen in this frame. Lots of bees pretty much throughout the hive. That's a complete frame of pollen with a little honey around the edges. Look at that. How pretty is that? Let's see if we can find a nice sheet of brood, nice frame of brood, and then we'll put this thing back together. Gonna take out the strip. Got some brood in there. I see larvae and I see eggs. That's all I have to know. Actually, I normally wouldn't even go into this next one, but just to show you how pretty this is. Look at that. Great brood pattern. The next one's the same way. It's very possible these bees requeen themselves this summer. I've gotten to the point where I just kind of let them do their thing. Many times they just do a great job of replacing their own queen. They supersede them when they need to. Unless I'm doing splits, of course, then you got to do something. But, or if the queen is obviously weak, but many times these good strong hives will just propagate and replace their queen and just do what nature intended them to do. That's kind of how I've started treating a lot of my bees lately. I, instead of trying to manage the queen situation, sometimes you still have to do that. Many times I'll just let them take care of themselves on my production hives. We're going to close it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what an October hive, a good strong October hive looks like here in Alabama. I thought I was about done videoing for today, but I opened up this hive here. It's a double deep. I think this started off in a, as a swarm back in the summer. I'm just going to show you what's going on in this top box. It's really pretty awesome. These bees have done well. These frames right here are full of honey. So these two over here have a little bit of room, some, some uh, foundation that still needs to be filled out. Um, but I pulled up this frame here. You see there, probably some brood that's hatched there. They're kind of filling in. But look at this frame right here, a brood here. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful frame of brood. Just thought I'd show that to you. Um, this side too. This hive is looking really strong going into winter. I'm sure the bottom box has some brood in it too, I would imagine. So just thought I'd show that to you, show you kind of what <laughs> this strong hive right here looks like. It's a double deep. I'll probably just leave it in a double deep for the winter. There's not, I don't think there's a lot more coming in before winter. So I think these bees are set up to have a very successful winter. I went through that bottom box and they got a lot, of, a fair amount of pollen coming in there, but most of the brood and activity is pretty much in that top box. So in the spring, if it's still like that, I'll reverse the boxes. 
But leading up to winter, lots of times it seems like they'll put some pollen in that bottom box. So I'm not too worried about it. So really that's kind of like a, a single deep, just full of bees. And then the bottom box is more uh, storage for pollen. And uh, not a lot of brood activity going on down there. Okay, we got that done. Overall looking good, a couple of weak ones, but uh, we'll see how they do. Otherwise, we had some uh, good strong hives back here. So I just see how they do going through winter. They're pretty much ready now. Uh, we treated for mites with the Apivar strips, and honestly, the bees look healthier than they've looked maybe ever going into winter. I didn't do any mite counts, but the bees do look exceptionally strong. Just gotta make sure we keep them fed so they don't starve out. All right, thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. I'm gonna sign off for now. Uh, Please subscribe if you like. I'll see you in the next video.